Welcome to this video on using RefWorks. In this video now we're going to be looking at how you can take the references that you've imported into your RefWorks account and turn them into the references within your actual assignment. At this point now you should have already imported references from library search and perhaps databases and you're now ready to add them into your assignment. Now what we're going to be doing is showing you a couple of ways of how you can create in-text citations or footnotes and your bibliography within your actual assignment. There's two ways that you can do this. The first way is within RefWorks itself and what you need to do is make sure that you're within the folder that relates to the assignment that you're working on and then you're going to go to the create bibliography option in the menu bar across the top. Clicking on that will bring you down this drop down menu and then you want to go to the quick site option in the middle. Clicking on that will load a new window on your screen where it will first show you what your chosen referencing style is. Again, if you want to change this, all you need to do is to click on the drop down arrow in the box and then type in the referencing style that you want to use. Once you've done that and you're happy with your chosen referencing style, you can then click on continue. This will now take you to a page where you can see all of the different resources that you've got saved within your folder. At this point now for Harvard we're going to be creating our in-text citations but for a different referencing style it might be perhaps your footnotes. What we need to do now is that when we're at a point in our assignment where we want to add in an in-text citation we find the relevant resource in the list and we put a tick in the box next to it. You'll notice in the box at the top now it has created an in-text citation for you. All you need to do now is click on the clipboard icon to the right of it and this will copy the in-text citation for you. You can now go to the documents that you're writing your assignment in and now you can paste that in-text citation into your assignment where you want it. You can do this as many times as you need to for all of the resources you've got saved in your RefWorks account. Once you're happy and you've done all of your in-text citations or footnotes, you can then click continue to bibliography at the bottom of the pop-up window. This will now create a bibliography for you of all of the resources that you had created an in-text citation for. If there are some that you need to include in your bibliography that you didn't include in your assignment that are in the folder, you can then click the option at the top which will then include all of the resources that you had saved in that folder. Again, you can now just click copy to clipboard, go back to your assignment and then paste it in where you want it. Please just do double check that the formatting is correct and there isn't any duplicated or missing information. The second way that you can add in your references and manage your bibliography is through the RefWorks Citations Manager tool built into Word. If you've downloaded the free version of Office 365 available for staff and students at Royal Holloway, it will already be available in the tabs across the menu options across the top. However, if it's not there, you can go to Insert in the menu options across the top and then click on Get Add-ins from the options that then appear. Once you have installed it, it will appear in the menu options across the top as RCM. Once you click on that tab, you will see that you have the icon here, RefWorks Citation Manager in the toolbar. And if you click on that, a new window pops up within Word. What you will then need to do is sign in with your Royal Holloway email address and your chosen password for your RefWorks account. Once you've signed in, you will see all of the resources that you've imported into your RefWorks account. The first thing that you need to do is to select the folder that you want to import references from into your assignment. To do this, you'll click on the folder icon at the top of the insert and then select the folder that you want to take references from. In this example, we're going to be using our dinosaurs essay folder. Once you're in the correct folder, the next thing that you need to do is to go to the menu icon at the top, click on that and then go to where it says bibliography off and make sure that it's turned on. What this will do is as you insert your in-text citations, 
it will automatically create your bibliography for you at the bottom of the page. Once that's done, you can then just click on the little cross icon at the top left. What you will do now then is click in your assignment where you want to insert your reference, put a tick in the box next to the resource that you want to insert the reference of, and then you can click insert citation. As you can see now, that's added the in-text citation to the correct area and then automatically created the full reference in our bibliography. You can now do this for multiple resources throughout your assignment. And another way of inserting a reference is to hover over it in the results list and then click on cite this. And again, that will automatically add it into the assignment and the full reference into your bibliography.